Hey guys, Ricky here. I'm gonna do my quick recap of Black Lightning, season three, episode three. Black Lightning's back, baby! Oh, I loved it. I'm so glad that Jefferson is finally out of that little holding cell area. I hate that place. That place sucks. Okay, I'm supposed to believe that this place with tons of technology, for some reason, Every time somebody's at a door or they're showing somebody or they're showing stats, it's like it's got this weird pencil drawn Snapchat filter type of thing going. I'm like, come on, guys. Really? All the technology in the world and that's the animation that we're going to have? Uh, whatever. Cool. But I'm glad he's out of there. That place freaking sucks. Tobias Well can suck it. Uh, how And how much must it suck? Does it? Is it like that to be an albino for everybody? Like, are they like freaking Edward from... No, not even Edward from Twilight. Those vampires didn't even... They could just be outside in the sun and just like sparkle all the time. This was like... What is it? Like freaking vampires from the Lost Boys or something? Where you go out into the sun and you just burn up? Like, Jesus Christ. It was like one minute when we open these vault ceilings. is like one hour on a beach. I'm like... Okay, I, I, and then he starts boiling alive. I'm like that that must really suck if if that would happen to me when I went out to the beach I'd be a freaking super villain. Also. I ain't even blaming that guy So he sucks uh, Odell is still He's like a grandmaster chess champion the way that he's just putting these pieces in place and everyone are pawns in his game where it's I guess it's like fear mongering. I don't even know if they're if the Markovians are a threat, because it. I'm starting to get the impression that he's just setting all these things up and he's pitting people against allies, allies against allies, and then because he's controlling the information that's getting out. It's like it's a commentary on what people say drives the military industrial complex here in the United States where there's just underlying uh, like keeping information secretive and withholding information so that and keeping, you know, controlling what gets leaked out to the public. And I don't know if that's what's going on. Um, it, it seems like it's a commentary on that, which you know, par for the course for this, the show, right? It's really good with doing that stuff, but that's cool. Seeing Odell do it. I'm, I'm always confused on like Khalil who just Khalil went full flat out John Wick mode on this episode. They show him knowing like 26 different versions of martial arts at the beginning. And then he's just at the end of the episode when he goes into that safe house, that stash house, I don't really I'm, maybe I missed something. I don't know exactly where that came from, but he's just plowing through this stash house, just gunning everybody down. That part was badass. That was freaking cool. I love that. Um, that was good. Um, other than that, I mean, I, I'm just glad that Jefferson is finally out of the that prison thing, that, that ASA weird thing that he was in um i i don't like him there i like him empowered and if if he if he had to go through two episodes of shit sorry crap <laughs> just and the payoff is he gets like the most badass smartwatch known to man that only he can power up i say it's worth it i as far as ways to hold your costume, I mean, there's the flash ring and then there's the black lightning watch. I love that thing. That thing is so cool. And his suit is sleeker and it's more fit to the body. He he looks awesome. Keep the facial hair. You look great. Love the episode. Um, <laughs> the thing for me that just came completely out of left field was... Chief Henderson, um, the, the one thing I did like about Chief Henderson was the conversation that he had with one of his officers that had gotten locked up at the beginning where he was telling her, you know, couldn't you tell me about that, about, you know, you being a, 
a metahuman and you know I would have I could have helped you and she's like I never would have put you through that and it almost seemed like he had that realization where he's had so much resentment with Jefferson last season because he had kept that from him and it to me I just with his facial emoting I almost got that he finally came to terms with the fact that wow that's right like that's what Jefferson was always trying to do for me he was trying to protect me and I thought that was I thought that was good <laughs> and, and then he's just walking with his wife minding his own business and this small frail crazy lady comes out and she's like you should be ashamed of yourself what <laughs> and i'm just like what that came out of nowhere he's henderson is doing the best that he possibly can and i was i, I was like are they going to come back to this old lady and then chief henderson like after a commercial break he's coming back up goes to a house and I'd completely forgotten about the fact that he had agreed to go get that money that she had, that his police officer had picked up like at a stash house or something or whatever it was, or illegally had, you know, taken that evidence. I had forgotten he had agreed to that. So I thought he was going to the lady's house to go confront her, to explain to her like, Hey lady, you know, I'm doing the best I can here. I got the damn federal government like breathing down my neck. And no, it was her husband. <laughs> I don't know what the hell was up with that crazy lady. That was most hilarious part of the episode. Um, if I had to rate the episode, one out of 10, uh, eight. Strong eight out of 10. I like the episode. As far as Black Lightning goes, this is when I like it the best. When they build on a lot of the emotion that you've seen from people. And uh, Jennifer's growing up. Nissa, I guess, is personally growing She's, she's got way too much on her plate right now. There's way too many things with her character. You know, I was just, she's a, she's a uh, great social justice warrior. She's a lesbian. I know that. And now, what do you even call that? Because she's not with another girl. She's with, like, a, a thing. Like, she, Grace doesn't even turn into just that old Asian man he she also she she changes races and genders and then she can turn into a freaking leopard so we're gonna have to find a new name for that type of sexuality in the CW universe so but Nissa just she just does too much she's got she's always doing like 10 things at once she's two superheroes at once so it's gonna be nice I'm just glad we got Black Lightning back and Super excited for next episode. Um, like I said, 8 out of 10. If you guys like this video and you want to keep watching them, I review all the CW shows. Um, I'm also reviewing Watchmen on HBO. So hopefully you guys will stick with me on that. And if you guys like this, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks.